that time of year again, even though the smell of bonfire night is still lingering in the air. John Lewis have already released their Christmas advert for the year. It's a heart-wrenching tale of Monty the Penguin wanting nothing more than to find true love. Just a shame that Monty might be a necrophiliac rapist and his love might be a prostitute. Penguins are cute. Penguins are Christmassy, so they are an obvious choice for a Christmas advert. Trouble is, John Lewis picked an Adelie penguin. And like most penguins, Adelie penguins are monogamous. But they're also one of a handful of species which are documented to partake in prostitution. If you like adorably anthropomorphic penguins, and who doesn't, then you probably remember the Adelie penguin nest thief that had everyone talking uh, from the BBC's Frozen Planet a few years back. Some penguins turn to a life of crime. What David Attenborough failed to mention was that in 1998, a pair of scientists, Fiona Hunter and Lloyd Davis, published a paper called Female Adelie Penguins Acquire Nest Material from Extra Pair Males After Engaging in Extra Pair Copulations. That's a fancy way of saying prostitution. You see, females make their nests out of rocks so that their eggs won't get flooded by meltwater, and this makes these rocks really valuable and a female might leave her husband behind in her own nest and go and waddle on over to a single male from another nest and proceed to flirt with him or perform courtship displays and behaviours. Sometimes flirting would be enough or sometimes she might go on to mate with him as well. Either way, he would be so enamoured by her advances that he wouldn't retaliate aggressively when she then went to steal a rock from his nest and wandered back and took it to her nest. And he wouldn't also retaliate when she came back to pick up another rock or back again to pick up another rock, or in the case of one female that they documented, a single female collected 62 rocks from a single male's nest over the course of an hour. The saddest part is why the scientists think that prostitution like this has evolved. The females always picked single males to steal rocks from, and so they suspect that perhaps the male wasn't aware that this beautiful flirting female already had a husband at home, and they say, he may view the copulation as the initiation of a long-term partnership. If he ignored such a solicitation, he might miss a genuine opportunity to form a pair. But this wasn't the first time that a daily penguin's sex lives had been studied. Dr George Murray Levick was a surgeon and officer on the British Antarctic Expedition in 1910. And while he was there, he studied Adelie penguins and filled two notebooks with photographs and records of their behaviour. When he returned back home, he then published two papers on Adelie behaviour. But a third paper, called Sexual Habits of Adelie Penguins, was so controversial that it wasn't published for a hundred years. In his two published papers, he vaguely referred to the activities of the single males, which he called hooligan cocks, cock being a male bird. But we've recently found probably the only two of a hundred remaining printed copies labelled not for publication, in which he refers to frequency of sexual activity, autoerotic behaviour, and notably seemingly aberrant behaviour of young, unpaired males and females, including necrophilia, sexual coercion, sexual and physical abuse of chicks, non-procreative sex, and homosexual behaviour. Levick even rewrote some of the entries into his personal journal in a Greek code and then pasted this code on top of the original so no one else could read it. One of the original sections is, I saw another act of astonishing depravity today. A hen which had been in some way badly injured in the hindquarters was crawling painfully along her belly. I was just wondering whether I ought to kill her or not, when a cock noticed her in passing and went up to her. After a short inspection, he deliberately raped her, she being quite unable to resist him. So there you go, John Lewis. 
Monty may be so keen to find his Mabel that he's willing to get conned by a prostitute, or he himself may be a hooligan cock. Either way, it's probably not what your marketing team were thinking. If you want to learn more about prostitution in the animal world and why females have lots of sex, and to be honest, who wouldn't, then here's a relevant extract of a talk I gave at the Royal Institution on this very topic. So relevant. And if you want to see the whole talk, I've made a playlist here. And seeing as John Lewis think it's time to say so, Merry Christmas and keep smiling. Do, 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 do.